Welcome back to episode two of Munzee Tutorials. My name's Craig, also known as See My Shell in the Munzee world, and I'm here to guide you through your start to the gameplay of Munzee. In this episode itself, we're gonna dive deeper into the different types of Munzees that you may encounter. Now, as you can see here, we're gonna start off with the basic, the simple, the reason how Munzee became Munzee as it is, and it is called a greenie. It is a basic, simple, physical Munzee scan QR code that are out there. There's thousands and th actually millions of these out there in the entire world. As I said in episode number one, these can be found in parks, in urban areas, various outdoor locations, and the greenies, the green munzies are probably one of the best ways to start munzie. Next up, we have munzie mysteries or mystery munzies. They are also physical as well if they are square in shape. They have like a question mark and they can come in different colors depending on the elementals that they may be. Oh, elementals, that's, I know, right? We're going deep pretty quick, but that's just different types of Mondays, different type of elementals will do different things. Let's get into elementals just a little bit. So as they sound, elementals, they're the types of elements that you may encounter. Such things as fire, water, earth, and ice. Yes, ice. Once you cap these elementals, they each present themselves you don't just cap them and then you're done. No, no, no. These elementals do something extra once you've capped them itself. For example, I capped the fire elemental Munzee right here. It's red in color and it has the question mark, but I capped that. And all of a sudden I look at my map once it actually updates and there's, I've actually spread a wildfire. Yes, a wildfire amongst other greenies. So there's other greenies around, they become on fire. I've got to run then, or well not run, but walk, because you've got plenty of time, but you've got to go around to those particular fires and cap the greenies again. Even if you've capped them before, you can cap them again because they've come back on your map as a fire and you've got to douse that fire. But beware, be careful. Sometimes when you cap these elementals, you lose points. Yes, that's right. You catch on fire, you get burnt and lose five points, or you can gain an extra 50 points by putting that fire out. Technically, you're always gonna win, just saying, so make sure you cap them all. Moving on now to the virtual side of the, the mysteries as such. Again, they are a question mark, but they are surrounded by a circle, not a square. That's how you know that they're virtual. You've gotta be within a certain particular range, mostly 300 feet. Uh, once you're in that range itself, just like this one here, by the way, this is still an intermetal because it's an air mystery. That's right, an air mystery. What happens when air and the wind blows? Well, you cap this mystery here, not one, two, but three, what they call scatters, show up on your map around the area, and particularly their feathers. So you have to go around and collect the feathers. Now, the more feathers you collect, the more points you collect as well. And sometimes, yes, sometimes you cap a particular feather and just so happens to be that feather will then scatter another three feathers in a golden state. So you can collect golden feathers for more points. So you've learned the basic greenies and you've learned the basic virtuals. You've now learned the elementals and mysteries as well. One more I'll tell you in this episode before we move on, and they are social munzies. Yeah, social munzies. Social munzies can be found on different Facebook groups and also in the official app called Cup of Z. This is what the app looks like right here. Make sure you download that app as well. Cup of Z tells you all your statistics and also other players will post their social, their social munzies, their social QR codes in this particular app. And then you can scan those social munzies again for more points. And of course you get points and they get points too. See how social this game is? Now in an upcoming episode, I'll be talking about what they call the clan wars. Man, there is so many layers to Munzee, it is insane. And again, this is, I've only literally just li literally touched the iceberg. I haven't even got any ice off the iceberg just yet. It's just the tip of the iceberg right here. It's, it's there's so much more, there's so much more. And in saying that as well, there's more coming out every single week. Different types of Munzees come out on a different weekly or monthly basis. So if this particular video was helpful for you, don't, don't forget that little thumbs up, the button's just down there. And also subscribe to this channel as well because more Munzee tutorials are on their way, if not already out. So make sure you get out there, have some fun, do some gameplay. Remember to check that Munzee map daily. Yes, I do it actually, I do it three or four times a day because new Munzees pop up all the time around you. And again, we'll get to that in another particular episode as well. Get outside, have some fun. Thank you for watching. And as always, this is C. Michelle. I'm over and out. Yeah. <laughs>